As the Vice President of Lindos, I would like to welcome you all to our beautiful village. We are gathered here today to celebrate the union of these two lovely people. We are here to unite Danny and Jasmine in marriage and to celebrate this very special moment with them. Before you both are joined together in marriage, in my presence and in the presence of these, your family and friends, I am bound, as you know, to remind you publicly of the serious and the binding nature of the relationship of which you are now about to enter. Marriage, as most of us understand it, is the voluntary and full commitment of a man to a woman and a woman to a man. It is made in the deepest sense to the exclusion of all others and is entered into with the firm intention that it will last for life. Okay, just have a little reading before we continue. It's called The Art of Marriage. <laughs> Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon, but should continue throughout the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives and standing together, facing the world and forming a circle of love that gathers the whole family. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. <laughs> Do you, Danny, take Jasmine to be your lawfully wedded wife to love, respect, and honor her throughout your years together? And do you, Jasmine, take Danny to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love, respect, and honor him throughout your years together? I do. Perfect. Okay. Kevin, can you please join us here? Okay, guys, you can take your... I'm going to let you know that you have to So, that's so easy. I'm going to... I'm going to stand and then just rub it. I'll stand over here to the side. Okay. Yeah, yeah that'll do. Okay, so while you're repeating my vows, you're going to simultaneously sort of keep wrapping, right? Okay, so we're going to start with Danny. Danny, please repeat after me. Jasmine, I offer you my love. Jasmine, I offer you my love. I offer you my support. I offer you my support. I offer you my loyalty. I offer you my loyalty. And I offer you my faith. And I offer you my faith. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Okay, and now Jasmine, please repeat after me. Danny, I offer you my love. Danny, I offer you my love. I offer you my support. I offer you my support. I offer you my loyalty. I offer you my loyalty. And I offer you my faith. And I offer you my faith. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Okay, so you're going to repeat after me now both at the same time. This hand fasting is a symbol of our love and unity. This hand fasting is a symbol of our love and unity. And with this hand fasting, we marry each other. And with this hand fasting, we marry each other. Okay, and so now we've got our official Greek wedding blessings, and which I will then translate. And what this means is, from this moment on, you are now united as husband and wife. It is your du duty to love, honor, and be faithful to each other. As husband and wife, you now have a common destiny. Together as equal partners, you will face whatever life may bring your way. And from this moment on, you are joined together for as long as you both shall live. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Danny, you may now kiss your bride. Oh, I thought you were going to stay connected like that all night. <laughs> <laughs> Tied up. Tied up.
for fun. Okay, so just make your way around this side. You can all huddle together. Uh, get her that way. She might have practiced. Yeah, you can practice today. No time like the peasants. Sorry. George, pretend to sign it. I'm sorry. Do the signing pose. Big cheese grin. Perfect. I found the one more? <laughs> For the first time, I'd like to present Mr. and Mrs. Stairs. <laughs> And everyone have a wonderful celebration today. Thank, Thank you. you.
get right at all.
piece. You should be rolling me. You should be rolling me. Ah, do a real life fantasy. Do a real life fantasy. But you move so carefully. Let's start living dangerously. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, can I start by saying thank you all for coming out to Greece to spare this very special day with a very special couple. Jasmine, may I say, you look absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Don't we all agree? Yeah. Danny? Looking very dapper? Thank you. I must say, it's the smartest I've ever seen you look. <laughs> you look like you've just fallen out of Benton's front window. But can we all raise a glass to the newlyweds? So obviously Jasmine and Danny. Jasmine and Danny. Jasmine and Danny. Cheers. Cheers. When I first met Jasmine's mum, Julie, 22 years ago, it was clear from the outset that obviously Jasmine and Julie came as a package. I bought into that from day one. Jasmine was a cute, starry-eyed little girl when I first met her. And a bond between us two was obviously quickly formed. Smiley Man was my nickname, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but Jasmine was definitely not all dolls and fairies. Oh, no, no, she was not. In fact, she much preferred to use me as a climbing frame. <laughs> <laughs> In the early nights before her bedtime, we used to spend many a night practicing WWE wrestling moves. <laughs> Backbreaker and stranglehold, to name a few. But Julie always used to say, this is going to end in tears, and it often did, but usually mine. <laughs> Over the years, Jasmine had some weird and wonderful hairstyles. Pink and purple, to name a few. In fact, thinking on it, I think she's gone through the full packet of, uh, packet of Spectrum on uh, Skittles. <laughs> I would also like to use this time, really, to obviously clear up the biggest mystery in our household. And for those who have not been to our family home, I'll, I'll try and paint this picture as best as I can. So where we park the cars on our drive at the end of a block set pavement, we have a big water feature set behind four little hedges, all in a gravel set between bricks all the way around. So obviously a few years after being in our family home, just after Jasmine's 18th birthday, I was trimming my bush, not this bush, the bush is all around, uh, when I noticed some of the brick sets were all flat. But it's not the br brick sets at the front of it, it's the brick sets at the far rear. And I thought, well, how's this happened? Because obviously there's a massive six foot illuminated um, water feature and there's four hedges between there and the, the rear. So Jasmine, would you like to obviously uh, clear this clear this confusion, please? I got in the car, started it, it was in first gear, the car lurched forward, 
but because I didn't know how to drive, instead of braking off the handbrake, I just screamed and let it go. <laughs> and I went all the way over four hedges. <laughs> <big> hedge. <laughs> put it in reverse and went back. I got out, went and stood all the hedges back up, but I couldn't move the brake. <laughs> Fabulous. It's just been buggy me to this day. It's how, fathomed. How many years? Three. It's about three years, and it, she never come clean with it. And I thought, I thought, was it the, was it, was it the window cleaner? I thought he's not that heavy to knock all these brick sets down. But how she managed to not take out the water feature, I'll never know, I Jasmine. Know to either. this day. I don't know <laughs> but you must have spent about an hour trying to put all the hedge back up, didn't you? It was hard. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, when Jasmine took the brave decision to take a gap year out from obviously her career to travel to Oz, Julie and I were obviously naturally worried and obviously we knew we were going to miss her terribly. But this would be the destination that she was going to make the love of her life. I mean, most people go on holiday and come back with a fridge magnet, but Jasmine came back with a blow. <laughs> she turned up unannounced after two years away, obviously, in Oz. Unannounced. And said, this is Danny, can we stay for a bit? <laughs> Anyway, that bit turned into two years for COVID and all and all that sort of thing. But over that two years, Danny, you become a big part of our family. And it was, it, it, was, it was fabulous. But it was clear in that time that you two were destined to get married. Jasmine, in all seriousness, I'm delighted to say it's been my absolute pleasure to see you grow and mature into the beautiful person that you've really become. You're a fantastic caring nurse, daughter to obviously Julie, Cal, stepmom to obviously Claire, and obviously brother and sister to Luke, Corey, Karen and Alicia. And obviously, uh, um, you're not biologically my daughter, but I'm ever so proud to call you that. Julie, could you stand with me as we'd like to present, obviously, our wedding gift to you and Danny. And for those who are not aware, Julie and I are sending the happy couple on honeymoon. They both know they're going, but they don't know where the destination is. And Jasmine, you've asked me to get you some currency, haven't you, for the trip? So... Can you tell everybody you're going to be needing this? What's that? For those who are not sure, that is a dirham. It's a currency of the United Arab Emirates. But you won't be needing that. <laughs> so let me present you with this, because this is what they take in the final destination. What's that? A dollar? A dollar? America? No, you're not going to America. Julie, can you do the honours? Please open it. Julie, stand. We have many now. Do you like the wrapping? It's yeah. Great. It's got it's Jazz and Danny on yeah, the wrapping. It's a picture of me and Danny. <laughs> a picture of the wrapping? <laughs> it's Jazz and Danny. Having <laughs> a very funny face. It's your Australia happy face. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. I think we're better at cutting the cake. It's like your Christmas <laughs> presents wrapped no. so, you, so you can't open them. Oh, thank you. What was we your random dollar in? Oh, what they take there. Oh, mm. okay. But you'll need the dirham as well because you're stopping off in Dubai. So oh, <laughs> thank you, Paul. <laughs> that was wonderful. Not worries. Anyway, to, to end that note, have a fabulous time, and let's raise a glass again to Mr. and Mrs. Stars. Stairs. To Mr. and Mrs. Stairs. Cheers. Cheers. That's me done. Nice one. I shall sit down. Well done, Paul. Well done. Well Thank you. Well done. That's all the way with <sighs> right, what is it? One of them? Ting, 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 ting. <laughs> well, after hearing that wonderful speech, I wish I went first. <laughs> I guess I haven't prepared a speech other than I just have some thank yous to say to people. Well, pretty much to everyone here, actually. I've thought about so much since we've been engaged. And before then, obviously. I just can't believe fate has 
led us to be together. I've got thanks to say to everyone, all my friends at home in Plymouth that aren't here today and everyone that's just raised us from the beginning of since we were here. I guess I wish Chloe was here today as well because she's the one who brought Jasmine out to Australia. My Uncle Martin, you asked me to, did I want to go to Australia and stay with you for a bit? Thank God I said yes. <laughs> yeah. And just like Paul said, you two allowed a stranger in your home that you've never met before. Could have been a math, math matter or something. <laughs> suppose, it was all good. I suppose just turning up with him though, you didn't have much choice. <laughs> yeah, we didn't really give you much option than that, did we? I'm home. Theo. But, but, Theo liked you and that was it. Yeah. <laughs> but you let me into your home and you treat me like one of your own. I can only just... I can never repay you for what you've done. You don't need to. All of you. I just love you both so much. Oh, pleasure. Okay. I didn't know what to, how to end this. <laughs> but there's a fantastic line in one of the Twilight films I quite like. <laughs> no amount of time with you, darling, will be long enough. But we'll start with forever. Cheers. 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 Oh, Cheers. 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 Thank you, everyone. Cheers. Well done. It was a good speech. It's not a speech, but we've got some little things we want to give out as thank yous. But we wanted everyone to know if that makes sense. So, Mum and Paul, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And then, thank you, Kevin other mum and Thank <laughs> you. 